Today we are talking about QuickBooks Online. Today's topic is importing to the chart of accounts. Chart of accounts is a way of summarizing accounting transactions. If you renew your QuickBooks Online subscription with a credit card, your accounting system will probably record that by increasing the amount you owe on your card and increasing your accounting expenses. There is an account in the chart of accounts that collects purchases made on this particular card and an expense account that collects expenses related to accounting. Amounts and accounts can be reported as totals, and totals across accounts can be combined, leading to total income, total expenses, and the like. Accounts can be added manually, and there is a video showing how this is done. The video talks about adding a single American Express account. However, suppose you are providing corporate purchase cards to your employees and want to add an account for each card. In this case, importing may be faster. Let's click on the gear icon, import data, chart of accounts, then click download sample file. Here is the sample file. We'll add information requested here, account number, account name, type, and detail type. That would make it look like this. However, if you're going to do just one account, there's no reason to import. The power of importing comes from an import file that looks like this multiple accounts in a single operation. If you're adding this many accounts, importing really starts to make sense. We're back at the import screen. Let's click browse. Let's click our input file, open, and next. We have started the import process. This is the map screen. The information that QuickBooks Online is looking for to set up the accounts is on the left. And we have the opportunity to match that on the right. Because we followed the template, the fields line up nicely. Let's click Next. Here's the accounts that we will be importing. The information looks reasonable. These look like account numbers, account names, etc. If you see any changes you want to make, simply change your input file. Click the back button here a couple of times, and then you can restart the import. This is a good time to recommend that a sample file be used while you are practicing with this because deleting accounts from QuickBooks Online is limited. Let's click Import. Let's click Accounting, Chart of Accounts. Let's scroll down. Here are the American Express accounts that we have added. This is an example of importing information into QuickBooks Online. This is John Daly of All-in-One Accounting wishing you a great day. If you have any questions, please contact us.